हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंटीग्रेटेड फिजिक्स स्टडीज आईपीएस एस एम ऑलरेडी प्लस टू सेकेंड इयर सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर सारी एवं मुझे प्लस थ्री सी बी सी एस अनलाइन क्लासेस भिडियोज गुड़ा अपलोड करी जदि भल लगे तेल लाइक करदेव और सब्सक्राइब करदेव जो भिडियोज गुड़ा मुझे अपलोड करी तार नोटिफिकेसन ये बेल आइकन को अल्रे सेट करदेव गोटे इंपोर्टां जिनस भिडियोज जो थ्री डट्स देखु तार क्वाटी ये देख बै डिफल्ट थ्री सिक्सटी अच्छी तुम ताक पढ़े कर क्लिक कर तुम रिजल्यूशन प्रति वीडियो जरे मु पीडीएफ लिंक देवी ताकु एटी ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट को तमे क्लिक करी डाउनलोड मध्य करी परबो पीडीएफ को लास्ट रे एटी जो मोर चैनल नेम अछि याकु क्लिक करी तमे एटी प्लेलिस्ट को जाई मु प्रति वीडियोस को यूनिट वाइज एज पर सिलेबस सो जाई कि रखे थिबी तमे सर्च करी परबो ओके थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज रो टॉपिक रे हमें नैनो मटेरियल डिवाइसेस ऊपर यार क्वांटम डॉट हेट्रोस्ट्रक्चर लेजर्स विषय रे पढीबा so let us first have the basic introduction we already know that the nano materials have a very wide range of applications the bulk nano materials are used in hard coatings then fabrication of components for aeronautic industry cars ducts in petroleum and gas industries then anti corrosion applications and sports sector okay now the quantum dots are actually semiconducting nano crystals when illuminated with ultraviolet that is uv light and they emit a vast spectrum of bright colors that can be used to identify the cells and other biological activities right and these quantum dots are used in opto electronics and manufacturization of inks and paints for anti counterfeit tagging okay now similarly the nano tubes and nano wires are used to prepare nano composites for electronic applications such as your solar cell led photo detectors which we have already read okay then the nano metals which are used to establish the conducting screens sensors and energy materials okay and they are also used for antibacterial and catalysis functions okay then your fullerens that are used in sports and cosmetic sectors then dendrimers which is a synthetic polymer actually and it is used in medical application for administration of medicines diagnostics and therapeutics okay so thereafter we have the nano porous materials which are used in aerogels to generate required thermal insulation in opto electronic applications okay and they are also used in biomedical applications for drug carriers and implants okay thereafter we have the nano ceramics which are used in anti uv components and photocatalytic studies and they are also used in the mechano chemical polishing of silicon wafers for electronic industries okay so nano materials are used in electronic magnetic opto electronic biomedical pharmaceutical cosmetic energy then catalytic and materials applications okay thereafter in today's topic that we will study the hetero junction lasers thereafter we have the optical switching okay which we will study in the next class okay then optical data storage magnetic data storage mems that is the micro electro mechanical system then the nano electro mechanical system which is nems okay so these are some of the applications of nano materials so as i said they have a wide range of application so this was the basic introduction of nano material devices now let us come to today's topic which is the quantum dot heterostructure laser now we already know that a quantum dot is a semiconductor nano structure which confines the motion of conduction band electrons valence band holes or excitons in all the three spatial directions and it emit light if the electricity or light is applied to it okay now larger quantum dots will emit longer wavelengths and similarly the smaller quantum dots will emit 
shorter wavelengths okay now the lasers which are the light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation and these are the potential application of these quantum dots okay now what is a heterostructure it is actually the combination of multiple hetero junctions together in a device okay and the hetero junction is the interface between two layers of dissimilar crystalline semiconductors which are having unequal band gaps okay and the lasers are potential applications of these hetero structures okay alternately we can also say that the hetero structures are actually any crystal suppose if it is consisting of one or more junctions okay which are obviously the hetero junctions between different semiconductors with different band gaps lattice constants and lattice thickness then it will be called as hetero structure okay and specifically if it contain only one junction okay then it will be called as single hetero junction structure okay so basically hetero structure means hetero junction structure right so a quantum dot hetero structure is that of a semiconductor laser which uses the quantum dots hetero structure as a active laser medium in its light emitting region okay now in the year 1963 scientist herbert kroemer proposed this hetero junction lasers and he suggested that the population inversion which is the essential condition for lasing this could be greatly enhanced that is increased by applying these hetero structures so he said that by incorporating a smaller direct band gap material such as gaas that is gallium arsenic between two larger band gap layers such as alas that is aluminum arsenic then the carriers can be confined such that lasing can occur at room temperature with low threshold currents and it took many years for the material science of heterostructure fabrication to catch up with this kroemer's concept actually first he gave a theoretical concept okay later on after many years it was experimentally being verified okay now this kroemer's concept although it was verified but now it is the industry standard okay and it was later discovered that the band gap could be controlled by taking the advantage of quantum size effects in the quantum well heterostructures and quantum dot heterostructure laser is such a type of laser diode okay and these are used in the laser pointers barcode reading then dvd reading writing scanning laser printing and optical communications okay so here you can see this is the schematic diagram of a quantum dot heterostructure laser diode okay so as you see in this figure it is constructed in form of a pin architecture okay p i n this is p type this is n type and between these two we have the junction right so here i stands for actually intrinsic that is the i region which constitute the active region of the laser diode and the charge carriers are pumped into the intrinsic i region from both the n region and p region correspondingly right so that the photons are usually emitted at the band gap energy or between the impurity levels and valence band now the light emitting region of a laser diode is very small and it is having of the order of few microns that is micrometers and this radiation spreads out rapidly from the laser diode due to the diffraction phenomenon which is taking place in the light emitting regions and this emitted laser beam can be collimated by using suitable lenses okay as you can see after collimation the light is being emitted out okay which is the laser light right so there are two basic approaches which are followed for the 
delivery of optical signals from these laser diodes the first technique is the fiber optic delivery and the second one is the free space delivery okay so in the fiber optic delivery the output of the laser diode is actually channeled through an optical fiber and in the second case that is the free space delivery the output of the laser diode is directly focused and being used okay so the laser diodes are ideal sources of photons for applications in the systems like your telecommunications signal processing then medical diagnostics and material characterizations okay so this is what i have taken from one book but very importantly this is taken from another book where you can see it has given about the heterostructures okay what are the heterostructures it has written okay as i said any crystal consisting of one or more junctions between thermal semiconductors with different band gaps lattice constants and layer thicknesses are called as your heterostructures and if there is only one junction between the narrow band then it will be called as your single hetero junction structure okay then it has described about the quantum dot heterostructures thereafter the quantum dot heterostructure laser or in short qdhs laser now it has given emphasis on the current density that is the threshold current density jth okay so here you can see it has given the quantum dot heterostructure laser its characteristics okay so when INGAAS that is indium gallium arsenic quantum dots are used in the active region of the laser at low temperature then the laging begins at energy near the maximum of the photoluminescence peak and thus the transition through the ground state of the quantum dots are responsible for this laging action and now use of quantum dots which reduces the jth requirement that is the threshold current density requirement and at the same time increases the temperature stability of this jth so at the higher temperature the jth increases exponentially okay finally very importantly let us have some discussion about the advantages of these quantum dot lasers okay so quantum dot heterostructure lasers offer many advantages over the quantum well heterostructure lasers okay advantages are broadly classified into two categories number one the physical advantages and number two the technological advantages okay so in the first case we have the physical advantages of these quantum dot lasers which are due to the delta function like spectrum of density of states and the giant oscillator strength of optical transitions per unit volume of the quantum dots and here small active volume means small population inversion which is necessary for the laging action and it lead to many advantages of these devices and these are listed point wise number one the broad range of light emission is possible by changing the dot size then reduced threshold current density that is jth then increased temperature stability of threshold current density then short population time of the ground state then high operating frequency and lastly it will have more efficiency okay so the laging will be more efficient then the second one which is the technological advantages of the quantum dot lasers are due to the technological advancements in the growth process of the quantum dots and these include some of the advantages like number one suppression of the defect of dislocation growth then suppression of overheating of reflecting mirrors due to the surface recombination then absence or suppression of diffusion of non equilibrium carriers which leads to reduced leakage of non equilibrium carriers from the strip region then an ordered array of quantum dots which are located in an optical waveguide 
can lead to distributed feedback and single mode generation and lastly by using a single quantum dot we can also create ledger okay so these are the basic advantages physical and technological okay and lastly we have the applications so the quantum dot heterostructures lasers have application in various devices of micro electronics as well as opto electronics and some of the commercial application of these qdhs lasers are as follows number one in case of medical field for laser scalpel okay scalpel you know that it is somewhat like that of a knife a special knife which is used for operation or in case of your surgery in the medical field so we can replace that metal surgical knife which is called scalpel by using this laser light provided we have to maintain the intensity of that laser light so that it can cut the human skin and flesh okay for the operation purpose then for optical tomography here tomography means it is a method for imaging a three dimensional imaging of the internal structure or you can say the cross section of a solid body or human body okay by using this quantum dot lasers okay then next point in the display technologies for projectors and laser tv and lastly in the case of spectroscopy and telecommunications okay so at the end i advise you again to go through both the books that i have included in the pdf and you make your note accordingly okay thank you